Is there anything more cathartic than having a good cry? You might think you're one of the harder hearts among us, but there are some things you just can't help tearing up over. From incredible acts of human kindness to long-lost lovers being reunited and even soldiers coming home to their families, I challenge you to reach the end of this video without crying like a baby. So make sure you've got some tissues nearby because I promise you're gonna need them. Daddy's Coming Home Having a parent in the military can be very challenging for families. Between the dangerous situations soldiers routinely find themselves in, and the long months, even years, far away from home, military service takes its toll on the whole family. And it was no different for the Franklin family of Fort Worth, Texas. After their father's third nine-month deployment in the Middle East, the entire family gathered to welcome him home. As you can imagine, emotions ran high. And you guessed it, that little girl holding the Welcome Home Daddy sign is Soldier Franklin's daughter. reunited at last. The Franklins had the rest of the summer to spend some long-awaited family time together. If that doesn't warm your heart, I, I don't know what will. I will never leave you. It's a hard, horrible question to ask. But do you think dogs feel sad the way humans do? Not just feeling a bit under the weather, but that empty hole that opens up inside you when something devastating happens. Well, if ever there was an argument that dogs not only feel sad, but they can also grieve, it would be this video of a little dog named Dite visiting her owner's grave. Come on, Dite, let's go. Come on, Dite. Come on, let's go. <gasps> what a good girl. Come on. Good girl. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Dite. Come on, Dite. Dite, come. Come on. Come on, Dite. Come on. Come on, Dite. Dite, come on. Dite, you have to leave the cemetery. Come on. Dite, come on, honey. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dite. Oh, it's like him a cry. Oh man, I think I have something in my eye. Like that little face wasn't enough to kill me already. Dita refuses to leave her deceased owner's grave. She's only enticed a few steps away when all of a sudden... Oh my god. Oh my god. She just... She just doesn't want to leave her beloved owner even though they're never coming back. Okay, while you wipe away your tears, let Professor Stanley Corrin, a specialist in canine intelligence, fill in some of the blanks for us. According to Professor Corrin, dogs can feel all the same emotions that humans do, including grief. They feel a massive sense of loss when their owner dies, but may not understand the permanence of what has happened. This has led Professor Corrin to conclude that, rather than mourning, Dogs sit at their owner's graves because if they attended their owner's funeral, that might be the last place they detected their scent, and they're waiting for them to come back. Well, if that doesn't prove that dogs are a man's best friend, nothing will. <laughs> While I grab a hanky, why don't you hit those um, like and subscribe buttons down below. <laughs> All done? Alright. Bring on the next tearjerker. Can you hear me? Since Allie Usury of Fort Worth, Texas was a child, she's only ever been able to hear out of one ear. Or that was the case until September 2021, when, having fought all year to make this surgery possible, Allie finally received cochlear implants to activate the hearing in her left ear. A wife and mother of three, Allie's husband Patrick was on standby, so after 11 years of marriage, she would hear his voice fully 
for the very first time. All right, can you hear me? Allie would later call her activation day one of the best days of her entire life. After all those years, finally hearing the sounds of the world with both ears must have been overwhelming. So congratulations to Allie and Patrick, and a massive thank you to the miracle of cochlear implants. One final goodbye. At the grand old age of 59, Mama was the oldest chimpanzee in the Netherlands' Royal Burgers Zoo. Since 1972, when Mama was 13, her colony had been regularly visited by one Professor Jan van Hoff, who studied the chimpanzee's behavior. He recalled that each time he arrived at the chimpanzee quarters, Mama was so excited to see him. She would come running towards him from the farthest corners of the enclosure. Now, fast forward 44 years to 2016, and Mama lies gravely ill, refusing food as her life sadly comes to a natural close. However, there was just enough time for one more visitor. Mama's old friend, Professor Van Hoof. As she remembered him. Oh, just listen to the way he comforts her. Mama sadly passed away soon after this interaction. She may not have been able to run anymore, but that beautiful enthusiasm she showed for her old friend one final time was more than enough to make my heart break. Senior Surprise In September 2021, a woman named Shania from Doncaster in the United Kingdom was wondering what to get her grandfather William for his birthday. It wasn't your average birthday either. William was turning the grand old age of 96. Now, there's no playbook on what to get somebody for their 96th birthday, but Shania knew just what would make his day extra special. Throughout his life, William had kept cob horses and formed a deep bond with the animals. Having passed his love of horses down through the family generations, Shania had a horse of her own, named Chance. With William bedbound and too elderly to go see Chance, there was only one way to bring them together. Oh, his face says it all, doesn't it? Through the kindness of his granddaughter, William was able to do something he never thought he'd be able to do again. God, I really miss my grandpa right now. Coach Gesture Chris Sweet, coach of the Lion College football team in Arkansas, received some truly horrible news in the summer of 2019. He was diagnosed with an aggressive form of cancer and decided to shave his head before undergoing treatment to fight the disease. When Chris's team found out about his illness, they made a collective gesture of support to their beloved mentor. Slow down, I gotta breathe. It's all for you, coach. It's all for you, coach. Every last one of them had braved the shave in solidarity. Not only does that show the true team spirit of Lion College's football team, but also how much Chris is adored by his players. Chris was overcome by the gesture, and they all burst into tears as he embraced every last one of his players. Mac, you love you. <laughs> <laughs> 
you guys were tired of picking. I'm a bearded dog too. I don't think there's a dry eye in the locker room, or in my room for that matter. <laughs> Learning to love. When Prue Barber found a puppy abandoned on the side of the road in Bali, she knew exactly what she had to do. At first, the puppy was absolutely terrified of Prue. He'd most likely been traumatized by his previous owners and was incredibly distrustful and defensive around humans. Despite his howls of rage, Prue was determined to take him in, but he remained distant and aggressive. <laughs> Regardless of the poor puppy's distrust, Prue gave him the name Murphy and kept trying to show him that not all humans were monsters. At first, nothing seemed to reach him. But after a few weeks of tender love and care, Murphy slowly let his guard down and began trusting Prue. After a thorough clean and a few good meals, Murphy emerged as a mischievous, fun-loving pup. Having once been a shivering, skeletal puppy filled with hunger and anger, Murphy was now a healthy dog who had learnt to love. Now, luckily for Murphy, Prue is the founder of a dog rescue organization called Mission Possible that aims to support, educate, and motivate others to rescue stray animals. Murphy stands as a perfect example of Mission Possible's belief that every rescue is possible and no animal is too traumatized to have their life turned around. It just goes to show that deep in all of us, past all those layers of frustration, resentment, and pain, is a beating heart ready to love and be loved. Man's Best Man This is the Pacifico family of Jacksonville, Florida. Rich Pacifico, on the far right, has put together a photo album of pictures of him and his dad throughout the years. With Rich's parents, on the far left, visiting from Dayton, Ohio for a couple of days, the family are enjoying going through some old memories. There's a trip to Niagara Falls and great memories with family friends waiting for them down memory lane. But with Rich's fiance recording this footage, even better memories lie just ahead. When his dad gets to the last page, he'll see a picture of a tuxedo and one very special question. Will you be my best man? Richie was the original selfie. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's crying. You like that little? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want a protein drink? <laughs> Here, have a drink. No wonder the whole family is in tears. I am too. I think we can safely say that Rich Pacifico and his dad have a lot of love for each other. Uh, I think I'm going to have to call my dad. Relative reunion. Family reunions really do tug at the heartstrings, don't they? What do you say we look at another one? But this time, it's the story of two brothers who hadn't seen each other in over 20 years. With one brother arriving at the airport, the other brother came to pick him up without letting him know. After sneaking up to him at the baggage claim, this guy gave his brother one of the sweetest surprises imaginable. Thank <laughs> you. 
It just goes to show that the love between brothers is more powerful than the time and space that keeps them apart. Wherever they are and whenever they see each other, these bros have got each other's back. Go on, let all those tears out, I know you want to. A Christmas Miracle It had been a difficult holiday season for Keith DeMent of Oklahoma City. In the run-up to Christmas 2020, Keith's dog, an English bulldog named Darcy, had been missing for over two months. Then on Christmas Day itself, no less, Keith got the best Christmas gift imaginable. Close the door. Close Darcy! The door. Darcy, baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh baby, oh baby, <laughs> oh baby, <laughs> oh, 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 oh my baby. Well, you can really see how much Keith and Darcy mean to each other. Keith even said seeing Darcy again was enough to restore his faith in humanity. The hapless hound had been found by Mitzi Brogdon, a volunteer for a local animal rescue group. She'd spotted Darcy a few days before Christmas and had set up a trap should the dog return. Talk about a good Samaritan. Or should I say, a Christmas angel. The Cat Nurse In 2014, a black cat named Radomenis arrived at an animal shelter in Poland with a severe respiratory disease that caused him excruciating pain. Radomenis's owners had intended for their cat to be euthanized, rather than live on in debilitating agony. But the vets at the shelter decided against it, and after a lot of hard work, Radomenis made an impressive recovery. But once he had, Radomenis then did a little something to show his appreciation for the vets who'd saved his life. Apparently wanting to return the favor, the cat started taking care of other sick animals in the rehabilitation center. When an animal was unwell, Radomenes would comfort them with warm hugs as they slept or lick behind the animal's ears to clean them. Radomenes' behavior became so well known that he even earned the nickname Nurse. I think we can agree that Radomenes' surprising selflessness towards animals that would otherwise have been all alone is a real heartbreaker. The world needs more stories, and cats like this. One Last Farewell as he lay on his bed at Nine Wells Hospital in Dundee, Scotland, Peter Robson had one final dying wish. Before he passed on, Peter just wanted to say goodbye to his beloved border collie, Shep. Now, hospitals don't usually allow animals inside, but the nurses went above and beyond to let this man say one last goodbye to his beloved dog. So one morning, as Peter lay surrounded by his family members, he got a surprise visit from his canine companion. <laughs> Knowing the end is coming must be so hard, but... Letting Peter and Shep say goodbye to each other must have helped them both so much. God bless those nurses and all the work they do. Maybe they can help me mend my broken heart now? Like one of your own. Of the 35,000 children monitored by Los Angeles County's foster care system, around 600 have severe medical needs. It's a heartbreaking situation. Sick kids with no parents and nobody to look after them. As a result, many of those kids grow up alone in hospital settings, with just doctors and nurses to take care of them. But some are raised in the unimaginably selfless, loving environment provided by the amazing Mohamed Bazik. Mohamed came to America from Libya in 1978 to study at college. Years later, he met his wife, Dawn, who had been a foster parent since the early 1980s. After they were married, Don and Mohammed decided to care exclusively for terminally ill children that no one else would take in. Mohammed is well aware these kids probably won't make it to see their adult years, but in his own words, he still loves them like they're his own children. When Don passed away, Mohammed continued their mission, and to date, 
He's given a loving home to more than 80 terminally ill children over 20 years. <sighs> I think this might just prove that not all heroes wear capes. Daddy's Home We've already seen how having a parent in the military can lead to a lot of families spending time apart, as one of them serves their country overseas. And this was no less agonizing for the Simmons family of Richmond Hill, Virginia. Their eight-year-old son had reluctantly accepted that his dad would be on his fourth combat deployment during his entire football season. The family were expecting him home for Thanksgiving, but right before Halloween, the son was in for the surprise of his life. Now, I like to think I'm dead inside, but hearing how happy that kid is just to see his dad again has me blubbering like a baby. But there's more. Having worried his dad would miss his football season, the kid was overjoyed because, in that moment, he knew his dad would be there for his homecoming and championship games. <laughs> I'm sure this dad wouldn't have missed them for the world. A Beautiful Bird In 2011, Joao Pereira de Souza, a 71-year-old bricklayer, found a penguin washed up on an island beach outside Rio de Janeiro. The penguin, who Joao named Dindim, Dim, was doused in oil, completely helpless, and was practically at death's door. But, always able to rely on the kindness of strangers, Joao took Dindim Dim under his wing and nursed the bird back to health. As Dindim Dim recovered, the little penguin refused to leave Joao's side. Eventually, Joao stayed at the same beach for 11 months, so Dindim Dim could fully recover with his new best friend there for support. When they went their separate ways, Joao assumed that would be the end of his very special relationship with this very special penguin. Except, the very next year, Dindim Dim took a detour of almost 5,000 miles just to see Joao again on the very same beach where they'd met. The two were overjoyed to be reunited, and ever since then, Dindim Dim has made the same detour every year to see the man who saved his life. Football Feels Sporting rivalries between high schools in America can get pretty intense, with some feuds between schools going back hundreds of years. The rivalry between the South Dearborn Knights and the East Central Trojans in Indiana may not be the oldest or most storied, but it does have a unique edge. And that's because Kyler Hendricks, the trainer for the Knights, and Sammy Clifford, the trainer for the Trojans, were dating. I dread to imagine what their fights were like off the field. When the two teams met each other on September 27, 2019, it would prove to be a matchup for the history books. When a player was seriously injured, both Kyler and Sammy ran over to offer support. But then, something beautiful happened. What a perfect setup. Gosh, I'm almost feeling as teary as Sammy. The two are now happily married and are working on their happily ever after. Star-crossed lovers. Was ever there a tale of more woe than that of Juliet and her Romeo? Well, yes, actually, though it started over in the Soviet Union back in 1946. Meet these star-crossed lovers, Anna and Boris Kozlov. They met when Boris, a young communist, was making a speech in a local village and saw Anna among the circle of listeners. They instantly fell for each other, and their romance blossomed. The happy couple were eventually married in 1946 and planned to spend the rest of their lives together. But 
only three days after the wedding, Boris was sent off to war. They kissed a teary goodbye, devastated that their marriage was interrupted so early on. But it never occurred to them that they wouldn't see each other for more than a half a century. While Boris was away, Anna and her family were suddenly accused of being enemies of the state and were forced into exile in the icy, desolate region of Siberia. This meant that when Boris returned home from the long, bitter war, he couldn't find his beloved Anna. Devastated, both Anna and Boris wanted to wait for each other, but their families pressured them to remarry. Anna's mother even went so far as to tell her that Boris was not sending her any letters because he'd forgotten all about her. Anna then discovered that her mother had burnt all the letters, poems, and pictures Boris had sent her, including the ones of their wedding. After quite some time, both Anna and Boris eventually gave in and remarried. Their lives went on as normal, but the two never forgot about each other. If they had, it would have made things much more awkward when, in 2007, a chance encounter changed everything. Boris was visiting his parents' graves in the village they had both lived in when he suddenly spotted Anna. His Anna, standing outside the house they had spent their three nights in as a married couple. Talk about sleepless in Seattle. These two were restless in Russia, reunited after 60 years apart and with their partners long gone. Boris suggested they get remarried. Now in their 80s, the two are finally married, for good this time. They now claim they still haven't had an argument and only want to spend the rest of their lives together, making the most of what time they have left. <laughs> well, if anyone tries to tell you true love doesn't last a lifetime, you tell them the story of Anna and Boris. Who could forget that face? Homecomings can be emotional for all family members, including the dog. When Cassandra Cabrera was deployed on military duty, her family dog, Miss May, was only a puppy. As her time on the front line went on, Cassandra began to wonder if Miss May would remember her when she returned. Coming down the staircase at Sacramento Airport, Cassandra finally got an answer to that question. Oh, as we've seen, it takes a lot for a pet to forget its owner. Dogs don't quite have the memory of humans, or elephants for that matter. Instead, dogs use a psychological process called imprinting. Rather than a memory that recalls specific events and places, dogs imprint smells, sounds, and sights onto their memories and associate them with either a positive or negative emotion. The process is especially important in the first eight weeks of a dog's life, which is why Miss May couldn't forget Cassandra from her, clearly, very happy puppy days. Man's Best Friend In 2012, newspapers reported the story of a man in Kazakhstan who was feeling low and made the decision to end it all, and after a night of heavy drinking, fell asleep over an active train line. But when his faithful dog saw him in trouble, it set about trying to save his life. Attempting to haul the man off the rail, the dog looked up in terror to see a train coming around the corner. With the man lying in the path of the oncoming train, the dog had no time to waste. When the man regained consciousness in the hospital, he was told his dog had heroically gotten him out of the way of the train just in time. The train driver said he had spotted the dog trying to haul his owner to safety and pulled the emergency brake, but that wasn't the end of the story. In selflessly saving his owner's life, the dog hadn't made it out of the way in time. I guess there are some dogs that will do for you what your human best friend would shirk from. With the dog to thank for his life, the owner knew his pet had made the most incredible of sacrifices. And one that hits you right in the feels. I don't know about you, but I totally failed that challenge. Which of these tear-jerking moments got you the most? Let me know down in the comments below, and thanks for watching.